Hi, Gordon Lindsay here with Soaring Kite Homes again. I'm on a, the floor plan design for Five Bronco Court in Thunder Mountain Ranch. Um, and I'll give you the, the design features for this house and, and some things that are unique to this house versus the, the house that I just did at 25 Sandstone. This is a court, this is Five Bron this is Bronco Court here. It comes off of Thunder Mountain Road here. And, and We've, we've designed the home again to take in the best views of the, of the, of the lot and to, to maximize the, the space on the lot. So what, what you have here is the, the big court for, for Bronco. You're going to come around to a ramp that brings you up to the front door and, and you come in this way. The one, th one, th one of the design features of all these houses is that there are no steps. You don't walk in, and there's not a step at the front door. A lot of times, you know, Sedona's a dark sky city, and you don't have lights that are illuminating everything all at once, and you have trip zones if you have a step. The other uh, advantage to having no steps with inside or outside the house is that you can age with what's very becoming popular and, and uh, is called age in place. And that way, you don't have to worry about if you be, become needing a wheelchair or a walker or something. You, there's no stairs. Um, and also, you know, so, so it makes it easier. Even if you just have mobility problems, you don't have to deal with stairs. Um, again, we have a big courtyard that's protected for privacy from the street with a, with a, with a uh, stone wall, a big open courtyard that has views towards um, uh, coffee pot, Thunder Mountain, um, Thunder Mountain, and um, and so forth in these directions. Uh, this this great room is glass on three sides. It's probably got about a 14 foot ceiling that has views out towards the Mogian Rim. A big open kitchen that has views towards the towards Thunder Mountain, but also it has a lot of counter space, a central island. This is a big china cabinet that, and, and a pantry here, but we also have a pantry here for, for all, all sorts of items that you need for the kitchen. Every house has a, a, an office, and it's not an office that is you know, needing to be on display. Um, it's a usable office that you can close off when you have guests and open up when you don't. Um, again, this is a two-story home, so on the main level, which is the, the upper level, but it's the main level that's at the level of the street, has three bedrooms, three and a half baths in the office. It has a, a more formal dining room here that has glass on both sides, um, china cabinets uh, at either end um, to, to, to store and display stuff, a nice wall for artwork here. Um, and as I said, it, you know, it has the pantry here. We have a, a half bath here, a hall closet here, um, another, another uh, use, usable space, uh, you know, closet space here. Again, all the bathrooms have you know, pocket doors within it, walk-in showers. Again, that, that same design feature of the window, the one, inch, the one foot slit windows that start at chest height in the shower so that you have the privacy, but you also have a nice view and light coming into the bathroom. Full-size walk-in closet, um, bedroom three, bedroom two. This has views you know, in, in, in two directions also. And again, king-size beds in every single bedroom. If you want to put in a smaller bed, you can, but it will fit a king-size bed with no problem. And the walk-in closets will fit all, all your all your your clothes, your hanging, and your your dresser clothes. Um, large la laundry room again. And because this is a two-story house, with the second floor being below, there's a stairway that you, you know, a four-foot-wide stairway to go down. Get, go down, or you can have an elevator. And that way, because the garages are down below, any home that's designed that does not have the living room kitchen, master bedroom, and garage on the same level always will have an elevator. And that way you, you can age in place, you can bring your, easily bring your groceries up from your car and, and not have those sort of, any issues like that. Again, and in here the, the master bathroom has great views, comfortable living space, the, those signature windows, big walk-in closet. Uh, to, to, to do that. that. That level home has about 3,400 square feet on that level. And then 
for those of you that either have a in-law, a, a, a mother-in-law that, that needs a place to stay, or those pesky millennials that won't ever leave home, you have a whole space downstairs that can be used as a family room, a living space for, for an, older, an older child or a, uh, a mother-in-law to be able to have their own space, but yet still be able to be connected easily to the house, especially through the, through the elevator um, be, you know, or, or stairs. So it's, it's accessible for, for any, any, uh, uh, anybody's abilities and, uh, and age, age group. Um, this home has a four car, oversized four car garage with a work area, bench area here, and so forth. Um, there's large, large garages. And again, this is down below. It is above grade, as you see. The, the windows, there are windows. They are, they are full-size windows. Um, so you're not in a dungeon downstairs. It's just that the, this home lent itself to make the main floor, the upper floor, off of the main street that you come on, that the house is addressed at. And we are able to put the garages down in the back, out of the way where there's no view.